Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Guys, today's episode we are going to continue on working uh, with our new base here. As you guys can see, we got most of the foundation laid already. It's about uh, Monday night right now. And uh, Insanity's over there taking a nap, so he's not really going to be helping me right now. But we've got a majority of stuff made as of right now. We've got a little room right here for the future. Our recordings, our future vaults that we might need to make, future storage rooms we might want. And I've got a little room here because, if I show you guys really quickly, I'm planning on actually expanding this layer here. And then having like another, maybe another secret room over here or something, I'm not really sure. The reason why it's like this is because I made the iron golem room a little bit too small when I initially saw it. And I planned it out a little bit uh, bad, so then I need to remake this iron golem room to, to fit a couple more spawners in. Because we're probably going to have maybe 100, 150 spawners in here. So, we're probably planning on expanding this. Oh my gosh, good thing I have jelly legs. So, uh, I've died like once already. Just freaking, when I was building this obsidian wall, like these obsidian walls. I've died like a couple times, but I do, I am sh in like short of obsidian now. I used to have, uh, let me just go home, new base. I used to have, these were all, all almost full and I only have like 32 left from, um, from people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to NC people. So right before I started recording, I told people that I would buy obsidian. So pay nugget 25k. Strafe, do you have the obsidian? So Strafe says he has, uh, he's, he has two stacks for me. So as you guys can see, we basically moved all of our stuff. Uh, in these chests at the moment TP to him TP strafe. All right. Looks like strafe is gonna sell me some uh, Some obsidian look at this cool. What the heck? Where did he go? Where'd he go? This is strafe's cool little vault over here. All right, so they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. So let me pull up a calculator. 23 times 25k. So pay strafe 575k. And I'm going to go slash back. <clears throat> put these in an inventory. So as you guys can see, I'm kind of just stockpiling on obsidian because we do want a massive obsidian base on the outside. Uh, just to make it a little bit harder for people to raid. Obviously, if I wanted to make it from cobblestone, I could just buy, I could just buy it um, based on cobblestone. But like that's cobblestone is really really easy to raid. So I'm just gonna kind of do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-six stacks, twenty-six times twenty-five k. Equals 650k. Pay strafe 650k. So slash back. So I'm going to need to get my iron golem farm up soon. So I really, really, I'm hoping that um, the spawner plugin gets fixed. Because as you guys can see, all this obsidian is costing a lot of money. I've only got about 30 mil left. So I'm kind of just, uh, I'm kind of just working away. Strafe, how many chests can I take? All of it. Okay. <laughs> He's selling me all of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Pay strafe. I could just scroll up and pay him the same. Slash back. Jeez, strafe is making bank off of me right now. Jeez. Oh my lordy. But uh, I need all this obsidian, guys, as you guys can see. So I, I so some of you guys are like, oh, he's probably spawning in the obsidian. I actually love to play legit on Factions Green. So I do make everything, all the money that I'm spending, all the stuff that I'm getting here. So that's another 26 stack. So pay strafe slash back. Oh my gosh, all this obsidian. So you guys are like, why does he need this much obsidian? So this is only the beginning of the base, guys. So as you guys can see, I need to fill in this bottom layer right here because I, I freaking died. Like, I, I totally forgot there was a hole there once. And I kind of just, like, walked off. And, uh, oh god! No! No! No, god apple! God apple! God apple! God apple! Oh my god. It's a good thing I had a god apple. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, TP or slash spawn. Oh my god, home, new base. Jeez, that's what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> I just accidentally walked off right there again. That's why I blocked this off the first time. But anyways, yeah, that's exactly what I'm <clears throat> we're planning on doing. We're probably going to expand this base a little bit bigger. So we're, we'll kind of just go from there. Um, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven stacks, eight, nine. So nine, nine times 25 is uh, nine times 25 equals 225K. Pay strafe, 225K. Thanks strafe. Home storage. <clears throat> Buying, hold on guys. Buying, I'm saving. <laughs> Buying all obby uh, stacks, 25k stack, PM me. So as you guys can see, all of my storage stuff here was moved. So for this episode, we're kind of just doing more base work. I haven't really found any decent raids to record uh, yet. Um, as you guys can see, I can. I still need to move all these chests. <clears throat> and I still need to move I need, I need to move all these upstairs chests but right now we don't really have a big storage area yet so that's why we're kind of I'm kind of just saving up uh, taking what I need and uh, moving as we go because um, <clears throat> a lot of my faction members haven't been um, home like uh, like uh, they've been out a, bu a majority of the week they've been out so I mean it's been me and insanity building this and also Pello pello has been online during his Australian time zone and he's been helping us build so that's really good I mean we're still working as a family working as a strong faction so what we're gonna do for this episode is I'm gonna plan out this uh, iron golem farm so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a couple stacks here I don't want to die again so make sure I have a god apple and um, I can't really test how well this will work because of course hold on, let me go to warp shop because obviously the spawner plugin is broken right now and I can't really do anything about it until they update that plugin. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get more hoppers and I'm going to try to expand that room just a little bit in order for us to fit more spawners in this. So I'm going to buy a stack of hoppers right here. So like these iron golem farms are probably like the best money making tool you could have on a faction server. So if you guys are like starting to play factions... I think your best bet would be to actually, um, your best bet for a factions world is to try to get an iron golem farm. It's like the most money making thing, uh, that you could possibly have. It's a little bit better than blaze and you, you don't really have, you could just fully AFK an iron golem farm and everything will be like pretty easy. It's not too hard to make. It's not the only hard part with an iron golem farm is it is kind of expensive. Like all the. All the tools that you need, all the spawners that you need, it's, it gets kind of ex expensive and it adds up. But I honestly think, oh, I just leveled up in mining. I'm level 812 in mining. Very nice. All right, anyways, but yeah, make an iron golem farm, guys. It's really one of the best investments you guys can make on a faction server, especially uh, on a faction server like ours, because you get so much money from from selling the iron ingots that you make from it that it's just it makes it a lot. It makes it worth it to actually uh, make an iron golem farm. So let me mine this row of obsidian here. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> so people have been talking about a reset. It's not going to happen yet. So I don't know why everybody's worried about their stats resetting and stuff. I'm not worried. I'm not too worried about anything of that sort. You just guys just wait until the summer and you guys will figure out what is happening. There's no point in trying to start up rumors and uh, worrying too much about playing factions. I'm still going to be building like as big of a base as I can and then we'll uh, we'll see where we go from there. I mean, honestly, some people think that, oh, I should, I'm not going to play because uh, it's going to reset, but that's honestly that makes no sense because what if we decide to reset and oh, you keep all your items? Like, what if we decide to reset and like you keep some of your world items? Like, it's it's just some of those things that oh god, I, I'm going to end up falling. I already feel it. it's going to lag and I'm going to end up falling. So I want to make this uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I want to make the sixteen across. 16, 15, 16. All right, now all I gotta do, shift click and place all these. I'm gonna need a lot more hoppers, so. You guys can see, this is basically how you make an iron golem farm. It's not too hard to make. Just gotta make a massive square with an AFK pool and uh, just kinda go from there. I'm gonna try to make an AFK pool above the spawners this time instead of actually below it. 
So uh, that that hopefully that'll help out a little bit. But uh, as you guys can see, we do have a smaller base this time, so there it might cause some lag with some of our members since the Iron Golem farm is like a right smack dab right there. But uh, hopefully it's not too big of a problem. Um, if it does cause a problem, we'll probably have to move the farm maybe to another level. But uh, as of right now, this is what we are doing. Let me go warp shop and buy more. Um, Buy more hoppers because hoppers are amazing. You know what? I'm gonna make a. Sh I'm gonna go into game mode right now, guys. I'm gonna make a sign shop for everybody here. Can I go into game mode? Is it lagging? Buy sixty-four hopper, sixty-four thousand. All right, that'll give. That'll that'll be nice and useful for everybody. So let me just get get rid of that sign and uh, buy some more hoppers. Perfect. Look at that. All right, slash back. So hopefully some people appreciate that if they're trying to remake their farms. I hopefully you guys don't mind me doing that on camera. I would have done it anyways uh, off of camera, but it's fine. You guys can. Uh, I don't. I don't really care what you guys see me do because there's no. There's no point in hiding what I end up doing anyway. Because you know what, this is all for good fun. We're 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 trying to progress on our faction service, trying to make everybody's life a little bit easier. We've got a lot of updates coming up for you guys. I just can't release it yet. I'm so excited for them to come, but I I, I honestly just can't can't wait for the next couple of months on the faction servers you guys are going to be really really happy with uh some of the changes that we're going to implement so uh remaking my iron golem farm hopefully the silk touch spawners plugin gets fixed very shortly because i honestly i need i need um my spawners back because i i'm still afk like the one main reason we haven't moved away from our old base yet is because um our iron golem farms are still there so if you guys can take a quick look do i still have that home home i think it's home ingot all right there we go so here's a, our big iron golem farm here and um as you guys can see all our iron golems are still there like we can't even break it yet because the plugins are still broken and i've been afking all day and these should all be filled by now and i'm probably going to sell these off of camera because that is a very boring episode if i was just selling iron these should all be filled by now so let me uh yeah, let me take a quick look. Look, as you guys can see there, boom, all filled. Nice and perfect. We can uh, start making some moolah. So there's there's basically all the money that I just spent buying all the obsidian made back all in these chests right here. Not a big deal. Very, very simple and quick. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Just giving you guys a quick update on what's happening on uh, the Sanctum uh, home base. Sanctum plans and ideas. Just kind of slowly moving everything together. Uh, see, we've cleared a couple of these chests and a bunch of... We still have all these spawners from where... Uh, I wonder if this works. If this works, maybe I could do this in the next episode and place the iron golems. There. Oh, so my golems still somehow work. It's, it's might be because I am an admin and it's still working for me, but I can't, I can't fix and I can't, I don't think I can mine these yet. Let me check. So if I, if I mine this, yeah, see, as you guys can see there, it wasn't dropping. So hopefully that gets fixed in the very, very short future. Uh, let me kill these things really quickly. And there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I just got a text message. What the heck? And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, just giving you guys some updates on what is happening with us. Uh, next episode, look forward to a raid. I have two raids saved so far, which just waiting for Insanity to wake up from his nap. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. This is D Field, and once again, we will see you guys later.